What's up, guys? How are you doing tonight? It is a wonderful Tuesday night, and sun's out, and it is summer, and it is rocking. So we're going to do a video for you again tonight. This one's going to be a build review again. Uh, we're going to switch it up a little bit. This one's going to be the Boogeyman build, and it is pretty cool. It is version 2.0, just updated from 1.9. Uh, there's some additional things that's been added. Uh, you also have the triple X build if you want to go that route as well. Uh, but I'm going to show you how to download it. And we are going to get started here in a second. As usual, you guys know, I like to give you all a shout out for everybody that's subscribing. Thank you guys so much for all the love and the support. I really appreciate that. Keep liking. Let me know if uh, I'm doing a good job. Also, you know, keep leaving comments. I'll try to get to you guys as soon as I can, I promise. Uh, if I can't, and if there's anybody out there that is watching or looking at the comments, you know, help out as well if you guys know the answers to some of these questions. So I'm really excited about where this whole uh, thing is going. I think we're developing a Cody community ourselves within our little channel here, so... Guys, let's let's keep it up. So thank you so much. Thank you. And I truly mean that. Those that have not subscribed and this is your first video, hey, look, guys, I'm just sincere. I've been in the place where you all have been before, uh, especially if you're new. I had no idea a lot of times what I was doing until I watched a lot of videos. So I'm hopefully going to make things a little easier for you guys to download these builds, try new things out. So definitely click on the link below in the description box. And most importantly, click on that bell. Because if you click on that bell, every time I come up with a new video, you guys are going to be notified. And also make sure you're leaving comments uh, like all my other subscribers are doing. And uh, also, too, make sure you're liking the videos as well, okay? So let's get started. Uh, we're going to do things that are a little bit differently. I'm just kind of feeling a little bit wild tonight. So we're going to start out with the build first. And then we're going to show you guys how to download it. All right. So the first thing we're going to be looking at here is your boogeyman build. Obviously, this is 2.0. As you can see, it's got a pretty cool look to it. It's got the scrolling widget above, which is pretty awesome. Keeps you updated on certain things, information. Uh, if you look down, you've got your widgets in the middle. Uh, those are your quick widgets so that you can quickly get to those movies that you like the updated current most popular ones all right as you see if you wait too long it has a great screensaver it's got the alien on there so that's pretty awesome but let's take a look at it we're going to go down through here you got movies you got your tv guide you got your wizard system power weather favorites music got your kids section fitness sports news your 24 7 shows and tv shows all right as you can see if you scroll up from the movies you've got all the different movies so that's pretty cool not just a couple there's quite a bit there Pretty awesome. So that's your quick link to these movies. Godfather, love that movie. Pretty awesome. All right. And if you go back down and scroll down, you've got your add ons. You got Exodus. If you guys have not seen Exodus, this is your first time. <clears throat> you got some pretty cool stuff here. Uh, let me show you real quick. I know I'm going to kind of take a side step here a little bit, but if you go into tools, all right, and you go down to your providers. All right, I'm going to show you something here in just a second. This is pretty cool. You can actually click on these and take those out and then just hit OK. All right, so what that does is that kind of speeds up the downloading process. OK, I'll go in more depth in a video on that a little bit later, but I just kind of wanted to show you. It was pretty cool. So let's say we want to, let's go into movies. 
And let's go to people watching if it'll pull up. I know uh, Exodus was having some issues with that the other day, so we'll see if it's if it's been fixed. Give it a time to load here. And if it doesn't, we'll we'll get into something else here in just a second, but it looks like it's going to. All right, so let's say we want to watch, uh, let's go with the Power Rangers. All right, now, watch the bar there. Notice the last few things, your providers. There's AFDH, Bobby, Putlocker, Torbra. Okay, these are your peop these are your providers that are slowing you down. So AFDH, Torbra, Putlocker, Bobby. Those two in particular, look how long it's taking for the whole process to load. All right, so we want to take these out. We can actually go out, and before we get to that, you can go ahead and hit Backspace. Okay, I went too far, but let's go back into Exodus, and then we're going to go down to Tools, and we're going to click on Providers in the Settings, and then we're going to look for Torbra and AFDAH. So let's go back up, and I believe Bobby was one of those two. So we can click on that. We're going to take that offender out of there. That's uh, causing us to be slowed down. We're going to take Bobby out of there, all right? And then we also are going to look for Torbra. And let's go ahead and take Putlocker out. It was one that was slowing us down. Torbra, we're taking that out of there, okay? Just click over, two clicks, click OK. Now let's go back up. We're going to hit Backspace. <clears throat> we're going to go up to Movies. And then we'll go back into People Watching. Now this is really good uh, because, like I said, this actually speeds that process up. Once you take those providers out, they are gone. They're no go no more. Um, <laughs> I'm trying to talk. They're no longer going to cause you uh, speed problems. So let's go back into Power Rangers and look how much faster that loads, guys. See how much faster that is, and bam. Now you can even change it to where it auto loads for you if you go back. Give it a second. Let's hit back again, and we'll just go back in because it's taking sweet old time here. Now, you can go back down to Tools. <clears throat> I got to backspace once because we went too far. So if you go back down to Tools... All right, and then this time you go into playback. You can actually change that default action to autoplay. And it will actually, once you click on the movie, it will autoplay into the movie. It will pick the best streaming quality that you have, and it'll go straight into the movie. So that's just a quick reference. I'm going to do another video on this. If you guys um, don't get what I'm saying here, just you can rewind it. And then watch it a few times. Um, but we're, I'm going to make another video on this because I think it's a really important one. I learned this. It saved me a lot of time on a lot of these movies. Now, you unfortunately, uh, that I know of, you could only do it on Zen and Exodus. Uh, so XLCM, you may be able to do it now. I'm not sure. All right, but you have your other add-ons. You got Maverick TV. <clears throat> you got Maverick movies, box sets, sports. You got the new releases, 2017, 24-7 shows. You can go on that. Okay, and then you go, guys, you got your 24-7 shows there. It's a lot of list of them there. So you can hit back. <clears throat> okay, and you've got your stream hub.
Stream Hub's really cool. You got movies, TV shows, your live TV. If you guys have not tried Mobro, please try that. That is like the best, in my opinion, one of the best <clears throat> live streaming apps that you can download, okay? I mean, it seems like it works pretty good every time I do it. But if you scroll down, look at all these right here. You got... You got a lot of live channels there, guys. It's just like having Dish Network, DirecTV. Pretty awesome there, guys. <clears throat> so you can check that out. And you also have Zen, UK Turk, Salts, Bob. We're not going to go through all these. All right, so we've gone up to movies again. Let's go over to TV Guide. Now, unfortunately, you do have to have service to be able to get this. So I'm not going to click on that. you got your wizard. If you want to do any maintenance on the build, you can do that. Here's your fresh start. That was something that took me a while to figure out where they were. It's usually under your maintenance or tools <clears throat> on your wizards. Uh, if you want to completely wipe this build out and do a fresh start on another build, that's where you'd hit. You'd hit that and it clears it out, okay? If you want to try to speed your system up a little bit, maybe the build's kind of sluggish, you can hit your clear cache, and that might be able to speed things up a little bit. You can also remove add-ons there. You can force close Cody if you need to. There's your log file. If there's errors, a lot of these developers are going to want to know what's wrong, and you can check that log file, and that's the first thing they're going to ask you. <clears throat> what's the log file saying, or the wizard log file? if there's any issues and there's a ton of different maintenance that you can get into uh, here's your system there's your file manager if you want to add on to anything here just click file manager and you would go down and <clears throat> obviously add your source I just hit backspace there because it took you one file further. So you just click add source. <clears throat> Once you've added your source, then you can go uh, over to add-ons. And then there's where you install from zip file. And then there's your repository. You can also check your add-ons. Let's say we want to check and see what video add-ons. Well, let's check program add-ons. So there's your list of all your program add-ons that you have. Okay, we can go down to video add-ons, and there's all the video add-ons that you've got on this build. There's your Sports Devil right there. Everybody likes Sports Devil. Okay, so there's a lot of room for add-ons. <clears throat> okay, you can move over to power, and then if you load it the first time, I always recommend going into power and quitting that way, okay? don't back out to your main menu make sure you do it the right way that way it loads properly <clears throat> weather is just that you can click on weather if you want and you can actually adjust there's an overview 10-day forecast <clears throat> you can look at that it's pretty cool you can add to your favorites all right if you add to your favorites they should show up here in your widgets you click on favorites there's your favorites there okay you can go to music there's YouTube music music choice mp3 streams so you got different add-ons there you can use your widgets up here there's Brits plus hits alternative dance hip-hop gives you the different genres right there guys okay you can go over to the kids <clears throat> you got cartoons Disney XD Cartoon Network cartoons there's Cartoon Network HD Disney movies let's click on that and look at there guys that brings up the stream hub 
add-on and it shows you all a list of every probably single Disney movie there is we haven't even got out of the bees yet there you go there's C's cars awesome chicken little chicken run so pretty awesome guys good for the kids and you can click on any of these others here check those out if you click on kids it's going to also probably take you to stream hub maybe not but there's nine cartoons super cartoons go go anime anime xd if you're a big anime fan you can scroll over to fitness and there's your widgets there's some different workout videos that you can use guys if you're into all that I don't have time to work out. I wish I did. <laughs> it's work and kids. And i got to make you guys videos. So I guess I could become a couch potato that way. <clears throat> All right. We're going to go into sports. <clears throat> Excuse me, guys. You go into sports. You got your UFC stuff here. You got your calendar. You can search. You got what's new. You got all that different. That's from Planet MMA. Pretty cool, huh, guys? If you click on sports, there you go. You can pull up any of your add-ons that way. <coughs> You've got Revved Up, ESPN1, Fox Sports 2. And there's your sports devil right there. It's pretty cool. You also have your news. You got CNN and Fox. Who needs anything else? And you also have your local channels, which is pretty cool. Not bad. I like that. You got your 24 7 shows that we talked about. And you got your widgets above there. There's Adult Swim. Love that channel. Some crazy cartoons on there. You got your anime 24 7. Look at that. American Horror Story. All right. Look at that. All kinds of great stuff. You can go down to TV shows. Once again, you got your widgets there for your most popular TV shows. And if you scroll down to the sub menu, you got networks. Let's click on that. You can say we want to look at A&E this is from Exodus I'm a big first 48 fan so you can click on that and bam you got all your seasons and it's up to date to the most current episode so we're going to backspace on that backspace backspace and you also have what's airing today you can click on that Look at that. There's a wall of what's airing today, guys. So this is a pretty cool build. I like the layout. I like the widgets. I'm a big widget fan. I love it when they're in the middle like that. I don't know why, but I just I think it looks sharp. I've always liked those. And they come in handy, too. Supergirl. Breaking Bad, one of the best series there is. All right, and then we're back to movies, guys. So let me know what you think. It's a pretty good build. It's got some good character to it. Uh, this is the updated version 2.0. So it just came up from the 1.9. Uh, so I'm, I'm pretty impressed with it. Uh, I think there's lots of room that you can add on. Uh, and I think that you guys will like this. Very good build. Very good build. So thank you for your time. I appreciate it. And now we are going to show you how to actually do it. So we're going to go ahead and get out of this. And we're going to go into Cody. As you can see, it's a 17.3 Krypton. We're going to let it do its thing. Okay, there it is, guys. As you can see, it's a fresh, fresh build. 
All right, so the first thing we're going to do is we're going to go ahead and we're going to go up to the gear, click Enter, scroll down to System Settings, click Enter, down to Add-ons, click to the right, scroll down twice, go ahead and click on Unknown Sources, and then we want to scroll to the left and hit Yes to allow the unknown sources to be downloaded. We want to back it up. And then we want to go down to File Manager, go ahead and hit Enter. Scroll down to Add Source, go ahead and hit Enter. Then hit Enter one more time. Okay, and I'm going to type this URL in, guys. I'm going to get a little quiet there for you guys. Uh, but you can just follow me if you need to pause it. Obviously pause it, do whatever you need to do to make sure it's correct. Okay, guys? So here's what you're going to download, or what you're going to type in. It's boogeymanbuilds.net forward slash wizard. Okay, so you guys got that? It's boogeymanbuilds.net forward slash wizard. All right, so from here we're going to go ahead and hit OK. And then we're going to scroll down and we're going to hit OK again. We're just going to leave it named Wizard. Then we're going to hit Backspace twice. Then we're going to go scrolling down to Add-ons, click Enter. Then up to the Install box, click Enter, Install from Zip File. And then we're going to go down to Wizard, which is what we named it, click Enter. Then you're going to scroll down to plugin.program.boogeymanwizard.zip. Go ahead and click enter. And then we're going to give it a second to download the add-on. As you can see, it's currently downloading right now. There it is, add-on installed. We're going to give it just a second longer to make sure that the complete add-on is installed. Usually when you see that currently downloading add-ons, that means that it is not updated. There you go. Boogeyman Wizard add-on installed. All right, you're going to get the pop-up box. You can just hit dismiss for now. And then you can uh, go into build menu. And then just hit ignore there until you get to this screen here. Now, as you can see, you got Boogie 1.9, Boogie 2.0, and Boogie Triple X, so you have your option of those three Krypton. So once you click Enter, it's going to ask you, would you like to run a fresh start? You don't have to because this is a fresh Cody, so just hit No. And there you go, guys. It's going to download for you. As you can see, it's a 757.99 megabyte build, so it's a pretty large build obviously so if you do have an Amazon Fire Sticks probably gonna run really slow for you guys and the reason that it's probably 757 is it does have a lot of live stuff on it some of these all-in-one add-ons <clears throat> it's got a lot of live video alright so you're just gonna let it do its thing we'll give it a few minutes here make sure you all Click on the link below in the description box and hit subscribe. Click on that bell. Make sure you guys are notified of when I have new videos out. All right? And once again, I reiterate, if you do have an Amazon Fire Stick, this is probably not going to be a great build for you guys to decide to use. Okay? So I would definitely think about <clears throat> that before you actually use it and then also too, not to change subjects but definitely leave comments and click that like button if you like this video guys I really really like putting these videos out for you guys I really enjoy I think about you know what I'm gonna do methodically on a day-to-day -day basis uh, I've been supporting Steven's Wizards 
Uh, I think uh, I'm a big fan of his. I think he's got a lot of great work, so good job, Stephen, on all the builds that you come out with. He's got a new one coming out uh, or has already released it, and we're going to take a look at it probably in the next few videos. Uh, but I'm going to show uh, some different videos for you guys, some different developers. I just talked to Craig Smith uh, the other day. He sent me a message. He's the one that has the Celtic Dragon um, build, and he's got an updated version now of his, so we're going to probably show you that uh, in the next video or so so that you guys can see the, the different add-ons that he's put on uh, through Exodus. So we got some exciting things, guys. Uh, these developers are reaching out to me, and um, you know I love showing their works. Uh, if you are a developer and you're watching this, uh, let me know that you know I'm showing your builds because uh, I'd like to personally keep in touch with you all. Uh, that way, like I said, uh, you know you guys can keep me informed and updated, and I will show your all's builds as much as I can. So you know, like I said, I really like doing this. Um, I love these builds. These developers put these out. And these guys spend a lot of money doing these things for us uh, to where we can actually pretty much have free free TV service. You know, I mean, it does cost some things here and there. Uh, but for the most part, I mean, seriously, uh, you know, I paid one ninety nine for, you know, my <clears throat> NVIDIA Shield, which is what I'm using. Uh, but that's it. That's it. I mean, I put some money in here and there for external hard drive. Uh, I've actually put some money in here for the videos. You know, as far as doing the videos, I've got, you know, different mics, different things like that. But uh, but the point is, these guys do this every day uh, so that we can have free service. You know, and that's a, a just a, a great thing that they're doing, a great service. So make sure you guys, if you're all... Uh, get a chance to talk to any of the developers. Make sure that you're letting them know that you appreciate it, okay? Uh, reach out to them. You know, Steven's one of them. You know, a lot of uh, my subscribers love his work, uh, except for maybe one or two. We're not going to name no names. Uh, and I am doing a new video for you, Paul. I am. I promise you. Oh, excuse me. I thought I wasn't going to say any names, but I did. So thank you guys again, Paul. I appreciate the comments. I really do, buddy. I appreciate it. Thank you for watching. Uh, you guys, uh, like I said, you guys mean the world to me, and I, I really like doing this uh, to help you guys out. So and I mean that from the bottom of my heart. So we're just waiting for this to extract. It's actually taking a little bit longer to extract the files than, than it was to actually download uh, you know, if I'm way ahead of you on the download, uh, you just pause the video until yours gets caught up. So we're actually going to stop it here. I think it's going to stop anyway. But when this finishes extracting files, guys, all you have to do is just force close. Well, it looks like it's trying to start up here again. So let's let's check it here real quick. Okay, we're almost done guys. I just want to make sure that you guys uh, see how to close it out so that you guys get the build to load properly. And we're getting down to the end. Once again, make sure you subscribe on uh, my videos. Uh, definitely click on the link below. And uh, like I said, I love having each and every one of you. got some great videos coming up. I've got some things that I've been thinking about. All right, so it says download complete to ensure all changes are saved. You must now close Cody. So we can go ahead and hit OK. And then it says you must force close Cody to get it started. So just hit Enter. And there you go, guys. And you can just pull it up. And it will load for you. Uh, I appreciate you taking the time to watch the video. Thank you for subscribing. Make sure you click on that bell so that you guys are notified when my new videos come out. Thank you so much. You guys have a great night. I appreciate it. Thank you.